Antoine Herzog. Yes. How are you? Well, and you? Well, um, <laughs> had a bit of a late night last night, but yes, doing okay. Had some coffee. Feeling good now. So I'm here with Antoine Herzog, who's uh, yes. uh, also a fellow Parisian uh, yeah. here, lives here in Paris, and um, you know, we've known each other for quite some time, mm-hmm. uh, since before IOV, so you know, you are the CEO of IOV, Yes. and um, here to talk about IOV today, and what you guys are building, what you've built, and um, what's in store for the future. So uh, thanks for joining me. I'm, I'm glad to be here. Uh, so, t- uh, t- tell our listeners. So, what is IOV and uh, what you are trying to solve? Sure. So, IOV stands for Internet of Values. Um, our goal is really to bring, like, the mass adoption people to mass adoption using blockchain. Um, and uh, so, we have been focusing on the uh, naming problem. Uh, we actually launched in October 2019 during Osaka uh, a blockchain called the IOV Name Service. And it actually uh, provides you a human readable address that you can link to a list of crypto addresses. So, for instance, um, uh, star um, Sebastian uh, could be linked to uh, an ETH address, a Bitcoin address, a Cosmos address, a Kava Labs address, an IrisNet address. And uh, y- you can provide this uh, human readable address, this star name. Uh, you can put it in your business card, for instance. So, when people want to send you uh, Payment, donations, uh, even for AP Center, uh, you can uh, uh, have this uh, star name to actually uh, receive uh, crypto funds. So, so this what so what is a star name? A star yeah. name is like a domain name with an IOV. Yeah, yeah, I mean we call it star name because it has a special format. Uh, it's it's like asterisk star, and you put the name you want. So we call it the star name, and actually uh, uh, it's like an NFT. So it's like uh, uh, you you pick uh, you, your human readable address, like uh, for instance your first name or the name of your business, and then you can uh, add uh, many different crypto addresses. You linked this star name to a list of crypto address. Okay, so so you you acquire this name, yes, and then the user uh, attaches yeah. whatever. Addresses could be uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, yes. or, or any other uh, compatible uh, network. Yes. To their star name. Exactly. So it's 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 like, is it is it similar? Just I mean to sort of like frame uh, this. Is it similar to Keybase in uh, that way? So Keybase is is doing many different things. Yeah. Uh, one is uh, chat. <laughs> yeah. Of we are not doing any chat, so yeah. we're really focusing on payment okay. and. Uh, but it's a form of identity, right? Yes, like, exactly. Yeah. It's a form of identity. And yeah. that's going to be very interesting because uh, we're moving from people using like traditional uh, social networks uh, where they're actually not managing any keys to some kind of identity where they actually own their keys and can actually attach any kind of uh, assets, um, claim any kind of re- uh, rewards or uh, uh, certificates. Okay. So the applications for this are, or you know, they're, they're pretty wide. Yes. Um, you launched in October in 2019, October. so it's been like five months so far. And w- so, what are the c- types of things that people are doing with this? So, uh, so we are really at the beginning because obviously, a star name to be very uh, uh, popular, it needs to be uh, integrated to with many different partners. So we partners uh, with wallets. Uh, mainly right now in the Cosmos uh, community. So we partner with Cosmos Station, for instance, and then actually integrating right now our technology. Uh, so you will be able to use it in uh, many different Cosmos wallets. And uh, we're looking for as well big wallets, uh, like uh, different big wallets. <laughs> okay. It requires an integration on the part of the wallet. Yes. Okay. Exactly. It's very, I mean, the first step of the integration is very easy because it's just resolving a star name. So it's just usually one day of work connecting the REST API. So you, qu- you can query the star name and it, it, re- it returns a list of crypto address where you can send your uh, crypto. Okay. So how is this decentralized? Uh, h- Sorry? How, how does it decentralize? Okay. How does it operate in the back So uh, right now we are operating with 10 validators, uh, mostly from the Cosmos uh, ecosystem. Uh, 
we we can expand the uh, you know the number uh, however we wanted to have a successful business uh, from for the validator point of view meaning that uh, you know, as it's a starting business, if you have many different validators, some of them might not get any, any not, not enough rewards. So we, we started with 10 and the intent is to expand as soon as, you know, the turnover of the chain, meaning selling a uh, lot of star names will get a lot of product fees and then these product fees has, has been uh, uh, redistributed to validators and IOV token holders. Mm, okay. So there's a, there's a, there's a token yeah. uh, and it operates as, a, as its own chain with, yes. its, with its own set of validators. Exactly. I know you've built on the Cosmos SDK. Exactly. And so is the idea here for IOV to, to, to be a, a chain in, on, in the Cosmos uh, hub? Yes. Cosmos I ecosystem? mean, we are, we are um, starting to look at IBC to see how star names could actually be be exchanged into another chain. Uh, but as you know, I mean, IBC, it's an it's on ongoing process, so it's not our top priority right now, but when it's, it's going to be working, then we'll be able to actually exchange star names to other zones, doing eventually secondary markets, so trading star names as an NFT, so this kind of stuff. Why would someone want to trade uh, uh, a star name as an NFT? I'm curious. Uh, that's as soon as you're talking about identity, uh, how you brand yourself is very important. Uh, so having the right name, uh, especially if you want to receive funds or even like you want, you are known to be this uh, name, uh, that could have a lot of values. Um, so you see at the very beginning of this, uh, you know, identity revolution, but uh, at some point at any kind of, uh, you know, NFT, it's uh, the right public can uh, buy and sell. So. One of the things with you know, domain names uh, yes. or, or uh, namespaces in, in crypto, you know, think about ENS, for example, um, is uh, is the trade-off that you have to make with regards to privacy. Yes. Um, can you tell me about some of the things that maybe you guys are doing yeah, to yeah. Sort of improve uh, people's privacy? Is we it are possible? Uh, I mean, w there are things that you can do, uh, and we are looking at them, and we'll actually announce a bunch of uh, features around privacy because it's absolutely needed for the public. What things to, to know is like, uh, um, uh, for sure, um, we are talking, uh, some of the chains are really public. So even like you, you, um, you give your uh, crypto address to few people, they, they will be able to do a graph and see exactly what's going on with your crypto address. The thing that we can do with public chains is actually not disclosing on chain the list of crypto address, right. meaning that you're going to have the public <laughs> You're going to have the public uh, star name, and then you can ask, uh, ask off-chain the list of crypto address instead mm -hmm. of being on-chain, which is the case of most of the name service right now. Okay, so so instead of storing the the addresses uh, on the chain, you, you do sort of a, a request to yeah. um, uh, hierarchical de 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 yeah. deterministic address space. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. And it can be done with PGP keys, meaning. Uh, purely encrypted, and you can set a lot of conditions around uh, the topic. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I mean, for me, that's been, I think, like one of the, I, I think that, um, like e ENS, for instance, yeah. is like such a great uh, UI improvement uh, for, for people that are using crypto to just be able to, like, e even for yourself, right? Like, I mean, the, what, the my, my biggest use case for, uh, say, like my ENS name in, in Argent is just, being able to send myself money, right? Like if you <laughs> send myself crypto without having to like go and look for That's the address. True. That's true. Uh, and not, not so much giving it out to other people. Yeah. Uh, but um, but I, I wouldn't use ENS like if I would like receive a salary, for instance, yeah. in crypto or something like that. Of course. I think like you, you make trade-offs there. Yeah, as soon as choices, you, right? you can go off, off chains and you have many things that you can do, uh, meaning you can disclose addresses to the person you want and you can actually disclose different type of different addresses for each time uh, you want to receive uh, some some payment, for instance. So tell me about the namespaces that yeah. exist within IOV. So there's like a, a sort of a top level namespace, I suppose, and then uh, people can create their own namespaces. Yeah, we are a little bit different than um, other uh, name service in some ways that we are n our format is not really an, an, a domain because you don't have any, for instance, .eth, for instance. Um, we have two main, I would say, product. One is 
we call it the IOV name or IOV star name, which each is like the star IOV. You can actually create your name inside, like a, uh, for instance, uh, uh, Sebastian star IOV. Um, and then uh, you can actually buy some kind of premium star name for business or people people who wants to actually personalize 100%, which means that it could be star epicenter, for instance, mm. this kind of stuff. But I mean, like with any namespace, as things get saturated, you know, like people are gonna want to create their own namespace, right? Like that's that's yes. what happened in the in the in the domain name. Yeah, I mean that the thing is like, uh, but there is a lot of uh, uh, you can actually register a lot of names already, and you have this like premium meaning that then you can create much more sub star names with okay. your premium. So it, it's pretty unlimited number of uh, star names you can can actually uh, use. Okay. How do you limit things like domain squatting? Is, is that something that you guys are? Yeah, yeah. So, um, about? so first of all, the what is live right now is like the IOV star name. So, it's, it's I would say you can compare it to a Gmail. So it's we don't really care so so much about like to prevent on this IOV star name. On the premium one, we actually uh, it's not live yet. So we already have a list of trademarks, and uh, for everyone who wants to pre-register a star name, we can go today. Uh, Starname.network, and uh, and they um, we, we we have this list already. And then when they register, we actually do a check on the person to know if he's actually the owner of the trademark, if he, he has been able to pre-register it. Okay, so you, so one has to trademark uh, their their yeah, name. We try, but uh, at the same at the same time, it's tough to actually have like one hundred percent control over that because yeah. it's even trademark itself you have few between countries and it's very sure. difficult to and there are different companies that yeah. have the same trademark exactly uh, that so operate in different it's spaces. very difficult yeah. there is no clear solution we just we, we do the best effort regarding this uh, topic yeah i'm on the website right now i'm seeing if epicenter is, is the, it's <laughs> I available <see> it. <laughs> i can pre-order great so yes so there's a company uh, that's trademarked the name epicenter um <laughs> we we haven't done that yet we probably should okay um no, so I'll, I'll have to get it before they do <laughs> no, okay no. this is cool and so what's like the, the cost of yeah so you talked about that's the premium so the pricing is going to evolve obviously uh we wanted to start uh, so first of all, the IOV star name mean to, is, uh, is supposed to be almost free. So meaning that for people to, to want to try and see like the great experience that can provide to have a human readable address, it's free. When it comes to premium, meaning being able to have a business and personalized uh, human uh, readable address, 100%, then we're just testing price right now. So for now it's 25 euro around equivalent. But if you pay, if you will be able to pay with Atom, so we did already a sale in December. It went very well, and we will reopen it probably with a price a little bit lower. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah, it's it's part also of the chain. It's uh, to discover price, and uh, that's going to be very challenging, interesting for us. It's to uh, maybe build some kind of uh, price discovery on chain. Uh, so that might be one of the things that we will do midterm. What are some of the interoperability challenges that uh, that you're facing? Or do you have any interoperability challenges? Because so you're just not listing really. addresses. I mean, yeah. I mean, what what things we do uh, is like we created this um, like group uh, uh, outside IOV called the Universal Chain Registry uh, with people from the Ethereum community, for instance, like Pedro from Wallet Connect, uh, and we actually listing uh, we specifying the chain ID, blockchain chain ID. Uh, so there has been already some specification on the Ethereum space, uh, so we kept it, uh, but we add some uh, namespace to to explain that it was a specification from the Ethereum uh, universe, and we did the same for Cosmos, and now we're going to do the same for Tezos and the same for Polkadot. Uh, and the intent is really to give a blockchain ID for any blockchain <laughs> that wants to uh, be mainnet, uh, and why we do that is because it's very useful when you building for like us name service, but also for wallets who want to actually uh, talk between two chains. They actually they need to know what the blockchain ID. Otherwise, it's very uh, difficult uh, if you are not agree on what the chain ID is. Uh, so we, we actually have this registry just on the GitHub repo, and people can submit a PR and say, "Hey, I want to have my chain register," and we say, "Okay, just." put this information and then we uh, uh, put that in the list 
Okay. So I'm on the website right now. Uh, yeah. I, I, I'm, I signed up. I tried to register. It's a good yeah. thing this isn't live because people would like. Ah, so maybe. <laughs> but, but so, 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 so maybe no, wait. so the premium is not live. Okay. Uh, the IOV star name is live. And the premium, as I said, you can pre register it and will be on chain in, in like a few weeks from now. Okay, so 25 euros here is like a pre registration of, yes, my, of my name. For one year, and then it will be live in like a few weeks from now. Okay. But just help me understand here, like. Because some people, it's like here, yeah. I'm, I'm paying with like a Visa yeah, or Mastercard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you know, what? What's the economic model here? Like, how does that value go from sort of you guys to like the so validators? The, uh, so as it's not, pr it's not on chain yet because it's this module will be live in a few weeks. Or in, so, uh, the proceeds will go to, uh, you know, main of the proceeds will go to the, the chain. Uh, but now, as soon as, the, for instance, on the IOV star name, you paying, we have IOV token, and the IOV tokens goes to the validator and all the token economy of the chain. Okay. Uh, so the intent is to redistribute 100%. It's just I like see. this is not live yet. But okay. uh, yeah. So, but, you know, one could still pay with a credit card, but I suppose you guys are sort yeah, of exactly. doing the exchange in the back end, and exactly. then that value just goes yeah, exactly. operating as a, yeah. as, a, as, a, as a payment. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Okay, interesting. What's uh, what's what's on the roadmap for for the future? What's coming so up? So we release the premium star name uh, soon. Uh, on our wallet side, is like uh, we have partners who will actually provide uh, star names into their own wallet, uh, starting from Cosmo Station, and we have a bunch of other wallets on the pipe. Um, on the feature, we mention uh, privacy, so that's going to be also important uh, topic for us. Um, and like uh, we are also very close from our user, even if it's the beginning, <laughs> we're trying to listen to them and you know improve. So we don't want to do like uh, we all really care about user feedback and you know iterate and and provide ver value of of our pro for our product. Cool. I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna pre-register right <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks, Antoine. Thank you so much, Sebastian.